In this video, I'm going to show you how to add touch controls in your game like this. So yeah, let's get started. So here I'm using this environment from one of my previous projects and I have got this simple player character with this sprite renderer a rigid body 2d and a simple blink animation and I've also added this movement script and if you don't know how to create one you can just check out this video here alright so now let's just see how it looks like in the game let's hit play and we can move around our player using the input from our keyboard but we want to move the player using the touch controls and for that let's exit the play mode first and we will open up the asset store using control 9 so let's maximize this window here and here we are going to search for simple input and select the second one by Suleiman Yasser click on this and I've already downloaded this so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on import here and we will import pretty much everything so let's just go ahead and click import and once you've done this it will create this plugins folder for you and simple input inside of this go to the prefabs and here we have all sorts of touch controls but before using any of these we need a canvas so let's create a canvas here all right so let's just put the scene view like this and now as our player moves only in the horizontal direction we will use this arrows horizontal so let's drag and drop this inside of the canvas and it looks a bit tiny so let's scale this up for the width let's put in 300 and for the height here we will put in 120 all right and now let's place this somewhere around here let's select both of these buttons and we will make them a bit transparent somewhere around here so that it doesn't block the game view and once we've done this we need to open up the player movement inside of the player so let's open up the movement script and if you don't know how to create one you can just stop this video here and copy all this code here all right the only thing we need to change here is this line of code so let's get rid of this and instead here we will type in simple input dot get access and type in horizontal all right and now for the jump we will need to make another method here public void and call this jump and inside of this jump we will just need to copy and paste this line of code here paste it here so yeah that's all we need to do here let's save this and head back inside of unity and in here we need to make another button for the jump so let's go to ui button and let me set this up quickly Alright, so I'll call this jump and also we will make this transparent just like the other ones or we can just end the sprite here and use this from the simple input pack and get rid of the transparency alright now we need to add an on click event to this and drag and drop the player select the movement script and jump here all right and now we can just try this out 
Awesome, so now we are able to move the player with the touch controls. And we can use them for our Android devices right away. So yeah, everything's worked just fine. So let's exit play mode. And if we open up our simple input prefabs folder. And there are many more touch controls that we can use for different types of games. I've already made a video on the steering wheel controls so if you want to check this out I'll put a link in the description. And the only thing that you have to do is to use the simple input.get access values instead of the standard one. Alright so yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already. And you can support me on patreon I'll put a link to it in the description. Until next time see ya.